Hi guys. It has been a long time and I decided to do this video uh, to show you the developments of my sorry of my uh, Pseudoglomerus Magnifica colony. Last time I shown this colony uh, it was in April and since then they have exploded of course with the summer the hot temperatures and I want to show you before they go somewhere else so this is just so a ton of babies here a few more there and this is not this is these are just babies just nymphs try to do this slowly and another bunch over here so I I feel comfortable in saying that uh, I should have at least 80 babies no probably more a hundred who knows there's so many everywhere that's why uh, I'm not only focusing on the recording I'm trying to prevent all the babies from ex escaping the enclosure so oh I think you can see over there that uh, female has some newborn nymphs under her uh, the colony is basically exploding everywhere and I think these roaches are absolutely amazing I love keeping them and especially with the developments that they have been having it's uh, fantastic to see sooner or later I'll have to change the substrate I think it's getting a little bit dirty I have a male here somewhere just a matter of finding him so yeah ten of babies and there was one oh there was one more thing I'd like to show you sorry for the trying to stop the babies from running away around wanted to capture the this is not easy doing this alone with just one hand okay uh, moving on let me close this first so this is my colony you can go back and compare to the to the April video and basically I feed them apples and um, turtle pellets and they absolutely devour so this is from yesterday and they absolutely devour everything it's great so let me close them now and show you another interesting thing meanwhile I can show you the, the enclosure so these are uh, Pseudoglomerus Magnifica from Yunnan and the city of Kunming and so it's a ventila ventilated box with uh, holes on the sides and on the top for cross ventilation and I think this is 20 15 by 10 centimeters and I have an escapee and this is actually what I want to show you now let me just cover this guy up Sorry. all right so uh, Pseudoglomerus magnifica occurs in other regions of Asia and uh, I want to show you the differences in coloration from each of the strains. Um, so these two are from Vietnam and this one is from China. The one that I just showed, this is my 
the fe one of female from my colony. So she has. I'm going to take out the cover. So she has um, a copper hue. It's a mixture of green, red, some oranges in there. As you can see. It's uh, very metallic. But it's stronger on the reds and the greens. Especially on the reds. So it gives this... Uh, trying to find a better angle. Resembles... Truly resembles copper. A green type of copper. So this one is from China. Careful with your antenna, please. Thank you very much. Uh, this, just uh, this uh, particular um, morph, let's call it morph, because these are all the same species, uh, is not common in the hobby yet. The Vietnam ones are more common. This is another str another morph. Uh, slightly different from the one that's currently in the hobby uh, although also from Vietnam this one showcases a brighter green but with a mix of reds I purchased this uh, this strain in order to to try to bring out only the reds from from this strain Inside my enclosure, uh, another enclosure I have with this train, there are a uh, few others, probably a little bit more red than this one. This one is quite green, but I wanted to showcase the, the differences in coloration. I don't have the pure green, the pure emerald strain from Vietnam yet. I'll try to get them later on. Uh, this is what I was able to get. So you can see that there are strong reds in there as well, along with the greens. And side by side, of course, it's not easy to to show, but side by side you can see how do they look like. Both females and stunning roaches. And now the last one. Unfortunately, it's dead and lost much of its color, of its ripe vibrance, because it was used to be much more uh, blue, light blue. But this is. Uh, this is a morph coming from the the emerald Vietnam strain, uh, which has a lot of blues. You can still see some greens, especially in the in the back side of it, but in the front it's clear that the blues are totally dominant. Unfortunately, I had a strain of this uh, of this variant and. I ended up lost, losing all the colony. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I was doing wrong, but slowly they started to die one uh, one after the other. A major shame. Unfortunately, the seller from which I got these originally uh, already told me that he doesn't have any more. So <coughs> my only chance is to acquire the green emerald and breed them until I find a bluish or slightly blue uh, individual separate and try to bring back this this strain so as you can see here side by side and I think this is the most interesting Although not easy to show. 
the color variation of the species of Pseudoglomerus magnifica. So you have your blues, your reds, which I will try to isolate. Then I'm missing here the greens. Possibly I could even say the blues, the oranges. I don't know if I would be able to get the reds, the greens, and then the copper. Uh, one thing I don't have any intention of doing at this moment is to mix the Chinese, sorry, the Vietnam with the Chinese one. I will prefer to keep them separated. Work more with the variation on the Vietnam because the Chinese doesn't seem to showcase that color variation as the others do. So, yeah, this is uh, what I wanted to show you. I hope you guys have enjoyed and also find these roaches fascinating for their metallic coloration. Truly amazing. And hopefully soon you will be able to find the copper strain for sale as I'm planning to part ways with most of my colony uh, in the future, in near future. So you will be able to find these near you to add to your collection collection as well. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.